Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another instructional video on a STEM topic. Again, we're, this video is going to be on, <clears throat> excuse me, the voice is cracking a little bit, on Microsoft PowerPoint. And the version that we are using today is 2016. So if you're using a different version, your options may look a little bit different. But today we're going to be talking about uh, formatting our backgrounds um, and from the from an online picture and also formatting our background on a picture that we have saved on the computer. All right. So the background of your slide is this area around your text box. So it's the very last when we're talking about layering on slides. It is the very last part of the slide that you can get to. All right. Now to format your background on your slide one of the first things that you have to do in the in the shortcut to do this i believe is you want to right click on the background of the slide outside of any text boxes so again right click on the background of the slide outside of any text boxes so if i'm here in this tech in this text box i can't right click in here because then i'm just formatting this this text box but i have to right click out here outside any text boxes now it's going to ask me format my background. So again, we're just like I was saying in um, other videos, we always want to make sure that we're using consistent terminology so that we're speaking the same language so that there's less confusion. So I'm formatting my background. I'm going to format my background here. Now, as you notice, PowerPoint's going to bring up some options for me where I can format my background. I can format using a solid fill. A solid fill is just a solid color. OK, so I can choose I uh, can click on a drop down of the color and just say if I want to choose this color here. This brownish color, I could do that. And obviously, here's my transparency. So if I want to, I can lighten up my color a little bit. Generally, we make things more transparent so that it's easier for our pictures or our words to show up on our slides. OK. So that's formatting using a solid fill. And then we also have formatting using a gradient fill. So a gradient means that it's lighter in one area, darker in another area. So I'm going to click on my gradient fill. OK, so as you see, there's all these different options. You know, but I'm, but let's let's do this. Let's let's take this step by step. There are preset gradients that are in Microsoft PowerPoint. So if I click on a drop down, these are some preset colors. OK, so I'm going to use this color because I like blue. But then so those are my preset colors, but then I can also choose the type of of shape that my gradient, as you can see, it's lighter here and then darker around. Then if I wanted to, I could change this to maybe a linear. OK, and then you'll see there's it's lighter here and darker here. And so there's all of these different options. This one, it's more of a rectangle, obviously. Then you have your path, which is um, it's lighter in the center, darker on the outside, sort of like you're walking down a path. And then you have shade from title. So this is my title, and it shades away from my title. So I'm going to go back to a rectangular. Now, if you know this, direction is now highlighted or, or I have the option of, of selecting directions now so I can actually click on here and choose the direction in which I want my uh, gradient to move from which is actually pretty cool okay so those are some tips and tricks but let me show you one more okay let's let's use the path because I, I really want to show you this and this is one of my favorites now with the path up, obviously it's lighter in the center, so you really can't necessarily change the angle of, of where your um, where your gradient is going. But I can also add different colors. And if you notice, as I scroll over, my gradient stops. That's what these 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 points are. If I scroll over them, it tells me what color they are. It tells me what stop they are. So this is stop one of three positions, zero percent. This is stop two of three, um, and it's at 35%. And this is 
three of three at a hundred percent. Okay. Now, just if I wanted to add a, another color in here, let's add a purple. Okay. So I'm going to click here. Okay. And then I'm going to change the color of this particular gradient stop. So I'm going to change this to a purple. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Now, let's say if I wanted to add um, a red, I can click here and then I can add a red. Now, all of this is beautiful, but you can always add a little bit of green to just make things even out your colors a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the things that you can do, and I didn't show you this before, is you can change the where your gradient stops are by just clicking on it and then dragging your gradient stops, okay? So all of these are some cool things that you can do. And obviously, you still have your transparency here. And if I wanted to make it more transparent, there we are, okay? And again, we use our transparency so that it is easier for us to read, to look at the pictures that, we, that we've made or the words that are on our document. One last thing, if you want to, and again, if you look at my slides over here, the changes I made to this particular slide are only to this slide. If I wanted to use this background on all of my slides, then I would click here, apply to all. Now, when I click on this, notice on my slide two, it will change, okay? So all of my slides now have this background. All right, those are some tips and tricks on, in, on uh, formatting your background. And again, this one is just on uh, formatting my background with uh, a gradient. And uh, the, look out for the next couple of videos if you haven't seen it already. But look out for the next couple of videos on, on formatting my background with pictures. Okay? All right. With that, uh, look forward to uh, seeing some artistic and some amazing creations from all of you. All right. Take care.